Right. Second. It's been moved and properly seconded. All those in favor of? Yes. Opposed to? Motion passes. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, now, as you know, uh, this is um, the last board meeting for our colleague, Mr. Doug Anderson, <coughs> who has given uh, 17 years of uh, work as the board of supervisors, on the board of supervisors, as a supervisor representing District 2. And uh, but Mrs. Davis, the county administrator, will come to the podium. We'd like to present him um, with a plaque as well as a resolution and his honor for his uh, years of hard, spirited hard work uh, that he's given us over the last 19 years. Mrs. Davis, good morning. Good morning. Thank you. And this is an honor to do this. Okay. The Board of Supervisors will present a resolution to Supervisor Doug Anderson. And the resolution reads as follows. Honoring Supervisor Douglas Doug Anderson on the occasion of his retirement for outstanding leadership and service to the citizens of Hines County. We've known him all our lives as Representative Doug Anderson, Senator Doug Anderson, and Supervisor Doug Anderson. Now it's time for us to take him back and know him as Doug Anderson, Jackie Anderson Woods. Whereas Hines County Supervisor Douglas Doug Anderson is a native of Jackson, Mississippi, and the 11th of 12 siblings born to Victor and Lily Anderson. He and his wife of 49 glorious years, Josephine, has three children, Denise McKay, Douglas Anderson Jr., and Jackie Anderson Woods. And whereas Supervisor Doug Anderson is a graduate of Jackson Public Schools, he went on to earn a Bachelor of Science in Mathematics at Dill Dillard University in New Orleans, Louisiana, and a Master's Degree from Oklahoma University in Norman, Oklahoma. And whereas, Supervisor Doug Anderson served as an educator from 1965 to 1987 in the Meridian Public Schools, Jackson Public Schools, and an Assistant Professor of Mathematics at Jackson State University. Whereas, Supervisor Anderson has been an active political figure for approximately 36 years. He, has, he was the first elected to office as a member of the Mississippi House of Representatives and to the Mississippi State Senate in 1976 and 1980, respectively. <coughs> he has represented the citizens of Hines County's District 2 with great distinction since 1993. <coughs> making him the second longest tenured Hines County Supervisor currently seated. And whereas Supervisor Anderson was always and remains compassionate about ensuring funding for historically black colleges and universities, adequate African American representation in government and health care the, for the underserved. And whereas his genuine concern for the well-being of Hines County its employees and members of the board reflected his unwavering commitment to fiscally responsible good government. And whereas his special combination of entrepreneurial skills and candor made him a very unique asset to Hines County and its board. And whereas Supervisor Anderson has earned the admiration and respect of many as a professor, politician, friend, husband, father and grandfather for his dedication and hard work to family and community. And now, therefore, be it resolved that the Hines County Board of Supervisors hereby honors and congratulates Supervisor Douglas Doug Anderson for the outstanding leadership and service he has provided to the people of Hines County by serving as the Hines County District 2 Supervisor for 19 years. He acknowledge, we acknowledge with great appreciation his many outstanding contributions and commitment to the citizens of this county, state, and nation. We are truly blessed to call him one of our own. And be it further resolved that this body pause in its deliberations to honor Supervisor Douglas Anderson upon the occasion of his retirement by spreading such recognition across the minutes of this board and presenting a copy of this resolution suitably engrossed to the supervisor Anderson and his family. So be resolved and ordered the 17th day of December 2012. Thank you very much. Let's give him a hand. Um, 
Mrs. Uh, Davis, you have a plaque? Yes, sir. Okay. And we also would like to present this special plaque to Supervisor Anderson, and it reads, Douglas Doug Anderson, congratulations on your well-deserved retirement after 19 years of outstanding service. The citizens of Hines County would like to extend sincere gratitude for the assistance, guidance, and outstanding leadership you have provided through the years. You are cherished by those of us that were fortunate enough to know you. You have set an example to be followed by future supervisors. Thank you from the Hines County Board of Supervisors, December 17, 2012. Okay, just bring it to him and let's give him another hand, please. Good morning. For me personally, this is a sad day. To lose Douglas Anderson as a representative of a great cons grateful constituency is pretty darn tough. When Douglas came to us in 1976 in the Senate, I was the rankest ranking. <laughs> I had a right start with the rankest member of the Senate, so it befell me to work with Douglas and Henry Kirksey as two new senators, the first two African-American senators in the Mississippi State Senate. And it was a great pleasure and a real joy because I learned to appreciate the intelligence, the integrity, the work ethic that was Douglas Anderson. I have never referred to Douglas as anything other than Douglas. And I have done that over the years because of my personal total respect for him and everything he has stood for. And truly I say, I am very pleased to call him my friend. I am sorry to lose him to Hines County, but I wish him Godspeed, long life, and good health. Thank you, Douglas. You know, read in the good book, if you want to be the greatest, be a servant. Doug Anderson had done that. He had been a servant of the people all his life, either as a teacher, a senator, a representative, or on this board of supervisors. One of the things that you can always depend on, Doug Anderson, when it comes down to doing things for others, he puts them first. And he puts education right on top of that because he's always known if we're going to better the life of a person, that person needs to have a good education. It was my privilege to work with him while he served in the legislature and while he served on this board of supervisors. And I'm just so pleased that I was invited to be here today so I could say publicly, Thanks to Doug Anderson. First, good morning. It is an honor to have known Doug his entire public service life. His association has allowed me to be intricately included in his family as a friend, as well as a confidant in and on many issues. Doug served as a legislator and quickly established his trademark as a fighter for issues that were germane to his constituency. He moved on to the Senate, where he left an indelible stamp of progress for building structures on historically black universities and colleges and funds to strengthen the educational arena. Many of us felt that he had kind of become quacky and lost his mind 
when he <coughs> decided to run for the second district supervisor seat vacated by the now Congressman Benny Thompson. However, Doug had a greater vision of inclusiveness for something that has become his trademark. He possessed a steel trap mind on budgetary issues and still was adamant that minority participation be a part of policy. So today, I say thank you, farewell, and for a job well done to a statesman and a friend. And I want to end by saying, Oprah Winfrey possibly said it best, real integrity is doing the right thing, knowing that nobody is going to know whether you did it or not. Thank you. Thank you.